thank you, Jack and Liam, for presenting to us a little bit about traditional Chinese medicine and for sharing what you learned on how to become a doctor online. Um, Moni is going to tell you a little bit more about a, what we believe are the most important values in our TGS learning experience. So yeah, here at TGS, we believe that individual development is rooted in three things, purpose, mastery, and autonomy. By purpose, we mean a sense of belonging to something greater than oneself. TGS staff are dedicated to helping us find our passions and figure out ways to be change makers in our individual communities. By participating in local experiences, exploring different cultures, and carrying out service learning projects, we aim to leave TGS knowing what we're passionate about and how we want to contribute to a society. Learning new things should be fun, and developing skills in many areas is what education should cultivate. To do this, TGS divides achievement of skills into three levels, novice, specialist, and master. We design our own rubrics with staff guidance at the beginning of each module or personal project, and we assess ourselves at the end. Because our individual interests define what we learn and what we want to create, we all must be assessed differently based on our own definitions of success. Based on this, we would like to present to you Marwa's personal project, a short video about makeup and beauty. Hope you're ready and hope you enjoy. I'm from Morocco. Uh, my personal project is about beauty standards in China. Um, so here is a small uh, video that su summarizes my findings and um, from my research. So yeah, enjoy it and thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Marwa. Once again, we pack our bags and this time we land in beautiful China. China is such a vast and fascinating country. Beauty is present in so many parts of the Chinese culture. You can see it in nature, architecture, fashion, and people. But Chinese people seem to have unique and different beauty standards compared to other cultures. First and foremost, eyes are considered to have the most influence on a woman's appearance. In every encounter, especially the first one, people usually looked for eye contact to read the other person's feelings and thoughts in order to get to know more about them. For that reason, eyes always came first in describing and interpreting the beauty standards. A woman's character was also considered to have connections with the shape of her eyes. Narrow eyes represented tenderness, which was appropriate to social expectations of women back then, whereas women who had large eyes were considered to be hussies and impudent. Red is considered to represent both luck and eroticism. Therefore, it is easy to understand why red lips and cheeks became the standards for beauty. Small lips showed elegance and classiness, which is why these lip designs were the most famous back then. Unlike Western standards, the intent in China is not considered attractive. Snow white skin is one of the most important beauty standards. It often invokes a sense of cleanliness, purity, and high social standing. In the past, women used to have a trend called sub makeup in which they would put makeup on and then cry until their makeup was tear sudden. The whole point of doing that was to show pureness and innocence. China is modernizing at a head spinning pace. And as it is getting more and more exposed to other cultures, some of the beauty standards are slightly shifting too. Nowadays, Chinese women idealize after looking younger, more doll-like, have big eyes and similar features to Westerners. To concretize all of these concepts, I decided to do a little experiment and go to different makeup stores around Shanghai and ask them to make me look beautiful dependent on their standards of beauty. These were the results. Hold me close till I get up. Time is belly on our side. At the end of the day, these standards have played huge roles in Chinese society and culture now and then, 
especially in the ongoing changes in perspectives of women's beauty. It established an idea of basic beauty standards for women to follow nowadays, and from that created and developed their own point of view of beauty. Thank you for your attention, and if you're watching this, you are very beautiful to me. Thank you, Marlo, for that video. Now I feel beautiful, um, and I hope you all enjoyed watching that video as much as I did. Um, it's super cool to learn about different aspects of Chinese cult culture through something that more people can relate to. Um,